Hey, what's up everybody? This is Titan, Titans of CNC on the journey continues. So check this out. We've taken a 150 pound beast of a piece of 6L4V titanium and we're going through the entire process of machining the raw stock to a finished part to print. And what's really cool is that for those that actually want to dive deeper into my Mastercam 2020 program, we're actually going to put the entire program up on our Aerospace Academy and you can actually go in and actually look at every single number and everything that I did to program this part. So on social media, we'll just give you a brief overview, but then we'll dive deeper in the Aerospace Academy and I will literally teach you how to go through every single tool path and the hows and the whys of doing so. All right, so it's gonna be good. So now when you see the part, a lot of the material is gone, all right? We have stepped down with our three quarter inch Harvey three and basically roughed it, creating all these little steps, okay? So now as a programmer, it's systematic. So the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually go into these pockets. And the reason is that we had a three quarter, it's a bigger tool. So it got as much as it could handle, but the diameter was too big to actually drop into each pocket. So basically the cutter came in and cut a step and went back creating a radius per that tool. But if you actually zoom from the side, the pocket actually drops down into the titanium, okay? So I'm gonna go with a smaller end mill. This is also a can of metal, but now it's a Harvey one, okay? So a Harvey three is six flutes, and we use it for roughing and finishing. And it's really my workhorse across the board for roughing and finishing hard materials, okay? But there's a lot of variables at place, okay? Now I'm gonna go into a tight space and I can't pre-drill, so I have to ramp down inside of this pocket, okay? So to ramp, I'm gonna actually use a four flute, okay? And the TE version of the Harvey One will allow you to actually ramp in at about a 45 degree, like just boom. You've seen some of the videos where I was testing it out, but now we're gonna use it in a real application. All right, so here's my toolpath. I use rest machining. So it basically already knows from the previous model what has been cut away. So now I'm simply cutting leftover material. All right, so it's gonna concentrate on the outside. My steps are much smaller and you can see it helically down into the bottom down here. So I'm gonna open up my toolpath all right, so you can see that I clicked the entire pocket that I was roughing, and then I clicked the surrounding areas to avoid. When you look at my wall stock and my floor stock, I'm staying off 10 thousandths to leave a little bit of material for the finish pass, okay? All right, so as stated before, we have the 3 8 Harvey 1 TE. It is tool four, and because I'm ramping down into the material, I've slowed down my surface foot down to 200, and my feed per tooth is at 0 0.0025, which equals about 20 inches a minute. Cut parameters, now I'm taking smaller steps, so basically the step over is 75 thousandths, but the step down is actually 37.5, which is 10% of my diameter. Now, one thing that I'll also mention is why did I actually do just this pocket? It's because each pocket is a little bit different, right? And even the heights and, and where I'm wrapping to, everything's a little bit different. So I chose to do one pocket and then I simply came up here to tool transform, which allowed me to take that pass and rotate it two times, okay? So I'm gonna actually exit out of here. And then you can see over here, this is my transform. All right, so you see it right there. And that's just an easy way to do the bottom level. All right, and then basically I copied my path at the bottom and then I just selected the next pocket and just simply took all the same information and then I selected different geometry. 
All right, so now that the pockets are all roughed out and they look beautiful, for the next step, I'm actually going to take a Canon Metal one and a quarter DFSP drill, and I'm simply gonna drop straight through the center of the part right here, okay? You can see the bottom of the part, which we'll do later, is hollow, so I just need to get below this bottom surface right here, okay? So we're gonna drop it down, come out, and then go to the next tool. So mission accomplished. The part is looking great. The drill went through nice and smooth. You could barely even hear. I want you guys to know, when you guys actually use this drill, feel free to play with the speeds and feeds. I gave you a good, safe starting point that gets the job done, but you can actually push this drill a little bit harder, all right? So have fun with it. So now that we've drilled the hole for our next tool, I'm actually gonna go back to tool one to our four inch dodeca shell mill. And if you remember, I actually left five thousandths on the top of the part. So I'm simply gonna come in and actually just skim that away. So now that everything is roughed out, I can come down much closer to the center of the part and just face right across the center. You'll notice that when I started, I was a little bit below 200 surface foot because I was taking a big axial cut. Now I'm all the way up at 450 surface foot. Why is that? It's because I'm only taking like 5,000. So I'm just taking a minimal skim cut and I'm just kissing the top just to bring in a nice surface finish. So now we're going to go to the next tool and we're going to actually cut out this pocket right here. Okay. And to do that, I'm going to use a three quarter. And since I already have a three quarter that I used to murder all of this material on the outside, I'm simply gonna go back to tool three to that three quarter inch TJDE can of metal end mill. And then we're just gonna hog all that material out. Now in this tool, I'm at basically 400 surface foot, 2037 RPMs, feed per tooth is 0 0.0043 and we're feeding at 52 inches a minute so on my cut parameters I'm basically if you look at my step over all the way around I'm at 10 percent which is 75 thousandths and if you look down here stock on the walls and the floor is at 10 thousandths because I'm going to come right back and I'm going to finish it with another three quarter but it's going to come in and it's just going to kiss that baby all right so this is roughing then we'll come back and finish it. Now we have our roughed pocket in. Let's actually go forward and call up tool six, which will be a three quarter inch TJDE also, but we're just gonna use it as a finishing tool. So now we're gonna come back, we're gonna slow things down and we're just gonna kiss the material just to bring in those tolerances and give it a good surface finish. So now check this out. You saw that I was at 400 surface foot on the roughing. I actually went up to 500 surface foot, right? Let's get the spindle spinning a little bit faster. This is the same tool. It's a six blue TJDE, but with the spindle spinning, we'll get a better surface foot. Now you can see we're at 2547 on the RPMs. And look at this, our feet per tooth, instead of 0 0.0043, I actually dropped it down to 0 0.002 two because we're coming in to kiss the baby so the feed rate is at 30.56 boom just to make a nice beautiful surface all right so the part is looking absolutely beautiful the tools are working flawlessly and the makino is a beast all right so check this out i'm gonna actually end the video right now and then in a few days we'll actually put up another video with the rest of the tool so the next video i'll actually come in we will drill out these holes i'll i'll do this o-ring just ramp all the way in just making a perfect o-ring then we'll do all the chamfers We'll thread mill it and basically make everything beautiful. And then the fun's gonna happen. We're gonna take a six flute Harvey three ball end mill from Canna Metal. And we're basically going to rough finish and then finish the entire part 
using some amazing Mastercam toolpaths. And we're gonna talk you through the entire process so that you guys can duplicate everything we did here in your own shops, all right? CNC Machining, Makino, Mastercam, Kenna Metal. Thanks to all the partners, thanks to all you guys. We are out, I will see you in a few days in the next video.